have. <laughs> We've come down in the candy kitchen. Yes, we have. Um, I'm literally loaded up so much stuff just to make potato salad for 100 people for this wedding. That, uh, but this is the first time we've come down here to cook, so I literally was like, I'm gonna need this and this and this, and um, I had to load everything in the side by side. I couldn't, I would have been worn out going back and forth, back and forth down the driveway. So, <laughs> so I drove side by side down here. Now I got my cows all their feathers are ruffled because they think it's time to get fed, but um, anyway, I'm literally unloading. And, I mean, literally, I mean, I had to bring towels down here, and the, the works, okay? <laughs> but, um, we're going to be making potato salad down in here today. And my first video was going to be, um, gumbo. I had promised y'all, and that's what I had promised myself, really. But, um, uh, I was asked to make this potato salad for a hundred people, and, I wanted to do that in my kitchen where it's away from all our personal elements and my little puppy dogs aren't down here and things like that. You know, I like to be really, really clean. So I put my hair up and took my rings off, um, all my jewelry. And um, so I'm gonna get set up down here, brought me a water. And, um, but anyway, this goes with gumbo. This is potato salad. It's gonna go with gumbo at this wedding, so. so it's connected to gumbo and don't you worry we are going to make gumbo yes we are my best friend made me that bag if you've eaten today thank a farmer Brittany <laughs> and I thank Brittany for it I love the little bag all right guys I am about to peel and get boiling 20 pounds of potatoes <laughs> so I'm gonna get that going and then I'll get back on here I'm gonna do some chopping of some celery and bell pepper and onions, and that's another thing. Um, I had bought these little onions in the store and they were starting to look kind of wilted and poorly, so I put them in some water and they perked right back up for me. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna get all set up and get my potatoes boiling. I'm gonna get my eggs boiling too. And then um, I'll come back on here and we'll put all this together, okay? I just want to get y'all down in here with me. Hey guys, I'm having to run back over here. Hey, I put all my eggs, 36 eggs, <laughs> right? And I'm gonna sprinkle some um, baking soda over them to help them peel real easily. So I just wanted to show y'all that I'm gonna cover them with water and get them on just a low rolling boil for about 15 minutes. Um, yeah, and that's it. Now I will be back. Okay guys, just that fast as soon as I um, got all my potatoes chopped and boiling, my eggs are ready. So I'm gonna drain these and get them cooling and peeling. Um, I'm just gonna show you some veggies I'm about to chop. Bell pepper, green onion, and celery. We're gonna sort of echo some of the same um, vegetables that are in gumbo. And um, I'm gonna do one pan that only has basic ingredients in it for potato salad and then one pan is going to be all all souped up with all these good things in it so everybody will be happy there at this wedding yeah and um so i was going um uh, what else was i going to tell y'all <laughs> uh i think that's it y'all see i got my potatoes going i gotta get these eggs peeled and i gotta get this stuff chopped because then it's gonna be ready to put all this together isn't it <laughs> so i'll be back um, and then I'm going to take y'all outside because it started raining on this tin roof um, because of Hurricane Delta that's about to hit land on us. And so um, it sounds so pretty, but I want to show y'all what y'all are hearing too and show y'all the views. So I'll be back. Hey, <laughs> I thought I'd hop on here with y'all real quick while I'm chopping some of my veggies. I was going to tell y'all the one that I'm not I'm just going to put mayonnaise, mustard, pimentos in it. It's going to be kind of a plain and pickle relish. And then one, I'm going to echo the flavors of gumbo and um, put some bell pepper and onion and celery in there. And I'm chopping all my bell pepper, onion, and celery in small little tidbits, okay, so they won't be big chunks in there. Um, just be a nice, flavorful, 
party in your mouth when you take a bite of this potato salad with that gumbo. And I'm also saving, and I had to get me a few little jars out because I'm saving a little bit to sprinkle on the top of the one with all this in here so people will know what they're getting. One will be plain on the top. I might put some sliced eggs, that'd be pretty. And then one will have all this celery and green onion and bell pepper on the top so you can see what you're getting. And uh, I'm using green onion because it's just pretty. And like I say, this is for a wedding for some good friends of ours. Um, their son, who was raised up, um, well, let's see, Alec and Dee Nigard. Alec, Nigard, and John, y'all see tiny little tidbits. Alec and John, they worked together at the chicken plant forever. And uh, so they, we were with them all the time. Dee and I were just having children. Uh, my oldest was a little boy, Blake, and then I had John Tyler. Well, then she had Garrett, and then she had Grace. So our children were all real small together, and they were almost at our house every evening when our husbands weren't working evenings. And even some of them, when they were, they would still come over with the kids, and we would visit. And they're just, honestly, they're like family to John and me. And their oldest son, Garrett, who is really close to our youngest son's age. He's marrying Olivia, the sweet little old girl. And um, that's what we're, we're doing this weekend. And uh, not only if they weren't friends, but um, Alec actually married our youngest son, John Tyler, and his little bride, Katie. And so um, that's real special to us. And then Dee made their wedding cake and served it at the wedding. So not only am I doing this because of friends with them, but we're obligated. We owe them back. <laughs> That's kind of how we do in life, don't we? We try to pay everybody back how they've done us, and we sure did appreciate them. Um, like I say, I'm chopping everything small, and when I get to these green onions, I'm going to chop them on the bias, meaning I'm going to do them sort of slanted, at least just the ones that I'm going to put um, sprinkled on top because that's real pretty so all you do is you turn your knife kind of slanted on them and it makes some real pretty little slanted cuts maybe I can come up there and show y'all what I am talking about oh yes they're very very pretty let me get this and come over there I said I wasn't going to get in here and bore y'all with all this chopping but my goodness it looked like I just May taste out of without y'all, wouldn't it? So I thought I'd come on a little bit. See how they're on the bias slanted real pretty? They make real pretty on to sprinkle around on top. So that's just what I'm gonna do with them. Oh yes. And so I'm putting them in the little jars. I don't even have any prep bowls down here, y'all. <laughs> in the candy kitchen. So I said, well, I've got little jars, don't I? Little jelly jars. Same thing, I'm gonna cut him on the bias and put him in there, because I think I'm gonna need one more for sprinkling on top. Make him real pretty. Real pretty little sprinkle. So that's why I chose green onions. You can use yellow, you can use white, purple, whatever color onion you wanna use. Y'all, I know some of y'all have seen my other potato salad video. And I got tickled. I was making it for my oldest grandson's birthday party celebration. And uh, <laughs> I got plum tickled because some of it, some of the comments and conversations got almost heated. It was like I was talking politics instead of potato salad. <laughs> oh, and I loved it. As y'all see, it was funny. Very funny. But, um, Apparently, we're all real particular about our potato salad and how we make it, but um, it was just real. It amused me anyway, but uh, I, and honestly, I make, that was just one way. I made potato salad six ways from Sunday, you know, er, every which way you can. I really have. I'll sometimes make it with little red potatoes, and um, Let's see, I'll even leave the skins on those little red potatoes. Ooh, that's so good. But that's more kind of down home country, rustic, I guess you'd say. So 
So I'm not doing that for this wedding, you know. We gotta make it look pretty. And if any of y'all know Mammy Gail, who is the grandmother in this shindig, well, it better look good. I'm telling you, I'm more nervous cooking potato salad for her <laughs> than I am getting on this video. I tell y'all, y'all, those of y'all that know Mammy, y'all know, she knows how she wants it. But she has put this in my hands, so I'm going to do the best I can for her. <laughs> but, um... That's one thing I was going to tell y'all. Sometimes I boil my potatoes whole, okay, with the, with the peelings on there. And then I will uh, let them cool a bit, and I will peel the peelings, peelings off. It's real easy when you do that to peel them off. And then I will chop those. And when you do that, that makes a very chunky potato salad, which I love. And then some people like a creamed potato salad. Um, my best, one of my best, dearest and oldest friends, Donna K. Dorch, she makes a cream potato salad, and I love that. And so for this wedding, I'm trying to do a compromise between the two, and do, and so I went on and peeled my potatoes, and I chopped them, and put them in the water, and that way it's going to get some of them a little softened, and so when I'm stirring and putting it all together, it's going to have some of it's going to be creamed, and some of it is still going to be chunky. So it's sort of going to be an in-between thing. And I use all sorts of different kinds of potatoes, too. So I guess I guess it's almost a little religion, our potato salads, isn't it? <laughs> but anyway, a lot of y'all going to know what I'm talking about when I talk about the heated, heated discussions about potato salad. <laughs> y'all y'all see what I'm doing I've got to be sure and put me some celery in this jar or I'll, what I'll do I'll dump it all in there y'all and I will forget I'll stir it in and I'll say oh no you didn't save me you sprinkle on top Amy so that's why I had to get this done and get on here with y'all tell y'all what I was doing I think this is my last one and I know they're gonna be ready I'm gonna show y'all what I mean by um matter of fact I can just come over there and show y'all can't I I mean, got like my little, I got these, the farmhouse, I got these little oven mitts at the dollar store. Yes, I did. Let me show y'all what I mean. See, they're just in small little bite-sized pieces. And like I say, that's going to make some of it a little fringe and some of it still chunky. And I... I liked that idea, so that's what I'm doing today. But however you make it is wonderful too, <laughs> okay? All right, now that we have established that, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get these drained and cooled down. I'm actually running some cold water over them. I'm gonna show y'all, turn y'all around, the spin y'all around in my kitchen. But I've been running cold water on these that are already, this is 10 pounds over here and that's 10 pounds. But that's, um, I let them cool and drain and I ran cold water over and over and over on them to cool them down because I want to put all this up and uh, it be ready for the wedding. So I'm getting everything cooled down and finish chopping my veggies and I'll get back on here with y'all and we'll put it together. Guys, one more thing I wanted to tell y'all is when I get ready to cut uh, celery, you know it's got those veins that run on the back of it that might get stringy on you. So I kind of cut in like that and you see how I'm sort of pulling some of those strings out like that? Yeah, just like that. And I'll kind of go on each side and get some of those strings. See, I got a good band of them right there. And that way they won't end up stringy in any dish that you make. I do this for gumbo or whatever I'm putting it in. Chicken salad, whatever, okay? And now I'm gonna slice and chop that up. I just wanted to say that on there. I didn't want to, I didn't want to leave that part out. Y'all knew I was going to hop back on here, didn't you? I lied, didn't I? <laughs> I am going to salt them before I uh, squish all these eggs up or fork them or whatever I'm doing. I'm salting them pretty good because with this potato salad, I did salt the water 
that I boiled those potatoes in. Um, like maybe a, a heaping teaspoon, okay? Not a whole lot for all those potatoes, but just enough to kind of get it started in there. And then I'm also going to grind pepper on these eggs before I chop them up with the fork. But, um, I, then I, when I'm about to mix it up, I'm going to add some more salt to our potatoes now that they've boiled and I've got them cooling. But, um, these eggs too, you know, they need salt. So I like to salt and pepper each layer. That way you don't end up at the very end and think, oh my goodness, what's missing? And if you've ever done it, you, you know what I'm talking about. And then it seems like you just can't. You almost feel like you just can't get enough flavor in there or something. So anyway, y'all see what I'm doing with this fork. I'm going to get all these eggs done. I'm just going to show y'all that I do salt and pepper my eggs, okay? And I will be back. Okay, guys. I've got everything together for us. Um, I think we'll make a pretty one first. How about that? We should both be pretty, but this one's going to be um, have all those veggies in it. So I've drained... This is the 10 pound potatoes I chopped up and I drained and cooled them. And let's see here what we're going to do first. We're going to put some salt in here. Yes. Just like I told y'all. I'm thinking that's a teaspoon. Pretty sure that's a teaspoon. And it might need more. That's a lot of potatoes. I know y'all are going to ask me, so I'm going to stop right here. Yes, I, this is something else. You see this amber colored little salt dish? I love it. I got that eight years ago when I got that green one from um, LTD Commodities that used to be ABC Distributing. And it's been packed up, ready for this candy kitchen. So we're using it today. We're breaking it in. And I am using mayonnaise, first of all. I'm kind of careful the way I start with this. And we're not even going to measure this. I mean, y'all aren't going to be making... 10 pounds, 20 pounds of potato salad, are you? <laughs> I don't know, you might be, huh? And then I give me a good squirt of yellow mustard. I am using pickle relish. I've been chopping and chopping and chopping. So I'm using pickle relish. Yes, I am sweet pickle relish. Sweet pickle relish. I am going to do some pepper. I'm going to do a lot of pepper in here. This is fresh ground. You can just use regular. And uh, my little gloves don't want to help me twist my pepper. My pepper grinder get me a paper towel. That helped the whole bunch. Yes, it did. A lot of pepper needs to go in there. That's not really that much. Okay, y'all. Y'all know I like smoked paprika. Okay. So we're going to give it a good sprinkle. And I might sprinkle some of this on top. It'll be real pretty, won't it? That might be a teaspoon or two sprinkled over there. Like I say, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not um, measuring. Okay. And let's see what else. I don't want to leave anything out before we get to the onions and stuff. Um, this is two jars I have got draining of diced pimentos, like that. And um, so I'm going to put half of it in here right now. And we'll do the other half in the other potato salad. I am going to put pimentos in that other one. Just because they're pretty and red. And they're festive, huh? Exactly. Put that back here. And a little draining. Let's see. All right, y'all. Now we get to put the good stuff. Get over here. And we're going to put some bell pepper. And I don't know how much. Like I say, I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it about. And celery. That's maybe a cup of each so far. And a cup of green onion, maybe. Maybe about a half to three quarters. Let me kind of stir this around. And let's look at it and see what we think. And I've got me just a big old spatula. So I want this to be chunking up or creaming up all my potatoes. I want some to stay chunky and some to stay creamy. Oh, isn't this a beautiful, beautiful color? Like I say, the gumbo is going to have onions and bell pepper and celery in it, so this will just kind of echo the flavors. And a lot of people eat potato salad in their gumbo, okay? <laughs> 
I was born and raised right here in Louisiana, and I'm not one of those people. I don't. Now, I've tried it, and it tastes just fine, but I like mine on rice, but it tastes just fine. But, yeah, a lot of people, they do. So I'm trying to make this sort of a, that potato salad that would go with gumbo real good. Okay, y'all, that looks really nice there. I like that. It looks mayonnaise enough. Mayonnaise, is that a word? <laughs> and we just need to taste it, don't we? That's what we need to do. All right, I do have me a clean fork. I'm going to get one piece of it. Because that's what we do. We taste everything. Try to get a little piece of bell pepper, celery, and onion. Mmm. Yeah, uh-huh. It's good. <laughs> I'm going to put just a teeny tiny bit of everything again. Teeny tiny bit or whatever. It really... I could have, I would have had to put that salt, but I did just for good measure. That's what we say, good measure. And this is going to be it, y'all. This is some good potato salad. This is going to be good in that gumbo. Yes, it is. And it's a beautiful color. I'll come show y'all. After we put it in here, now, Mamie Gail's ordered some of those nice chafing dishes, and I'm just using two half chafing dishes to go on one of those whole size ones. These are the little disposable ones that will go down inside. And instead of the fire under our chicken dish, we're going to put ice down in that dish to keep this potato salad good and cold. So, maybe Gail's got that. So, I'm just loading this up. Let's see if it's going to fit in our half half size chicken dish, huh? And one of y'all's asked me before where I got this big old bowl. I rode with John back in January of last year. And no, it was before Christmas actually. And he wanted me to ride to Ruston with him, Ruston, Louisiana, to this place called Tool City. Some of y'all might know it. And uh, he needed to pick up some things for a job. And I said, sure. We're not near as busy during the winter, during the winter months. So. We're able to spend a little more time around one another. But um, anyway, so I was riding with him. Well, we get there, we go inside. Well, <laughs> I saw this whole section that had all kinds of pretty stuff in it. And it was those big old bowls like that. And John, I said, oh, baby, I love those. I take those for Christmas. So he got me some of that stuff for Christmas. He said, there I thought all along. I was safe taking you into Tool City, but he was not. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, baby. I'm on here with everybody making this pretty potato salad. Making potato in. salad. That rain from Delta is sending you home, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, y'all. Now y'all see how pretty that is. Now we're just going to add a little bit of some of this stuff to show everybody what we've got in there. Although you can kind of see it in this potato salad. But I'm going to sprinkle some of that on top of some celery. Like that. I think we got to put a little more smoked paprika on top, too. I do, too. I do, too. I heard y'all. Yeah, that's pretty. And a little bit of that bell pepper. Let everybody know that's in there. Try to make it pretty like that. And a little bit of green onion. And I had cut these on the bias for us to put on top. And here I am putting the regular kind on there. Y'all see, y'all gotta watch me. Y'all gotta watch me. Keep me in line. Y'all do too, don't you? Okay, y'all. That looks very, very pretty. Now, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator, and then we'll come back, and we'll do the next one. I wanna go show y'all. Y'all see it? Is that gonna be pretty for that wedding? <laughs> I think so too, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator, and we're gonna get this next one to go All right, guys, we'll just keep on rolling. No, I need to wash this out and get all this out of here. And I've got these eggs chopped up for this one, and we'll get back on here. Hey, guys. 
I was in potato salad mode and I was about to make this second batch and I said, oh my goodness, I'm not recording. But um, we got potatoes in here and I hadn't sprinkled them with salt yet, so we're gonna sprinkle them with salt and do some of our pepper. I've got mayonnaise and mustard, okay? And this time, we're still gonna do some pickle relish, some sweet pickle relish. Yes, and some smoked paprika. I tell you what, I'll just put that on the top on this one. I'm gonna put our pimentos, our other jar of pimentos. Looking good so far, huh? And then some of these eggs that we um, chopped up with our fork. I don't know that I'll use all of them. I don't know. And then we've got our little sliced eggs to go real pretty on top that we will do. So let's get this stirring around and see what it looks like. Y'all see this one is a little more plain. And um, it's for ones like little kids that don't like onions and such. And there's some big kids that don't like onions and such too. My husband's one of those big kids. <laughs> yes. He's come in behind us. He was raising his hand, y'all, like he was in school. So, so I want to do both. And Mammy Gail and I discussed this. We said, do I make one big potato salad? And some people going to like it. Some people aren't. Or do I do two? One with all the onions and bell pepper and celery. And one without. And Mammy Gail said, yes, yeah, she liked that idea. One without. I think this looks like it might need just a tad bit more mayonnaise. Let me find my spatula. Oh, here it is. I'd already washed it for us. A little more mayonnaise. And then I am going to taste it. I have washed my fork, too. Here we go, y'all. Let's taste this up. Make sure we got enough seasoning. I need meat supper, huh? <laughs> Let's see. I can use just a little another little squirt of some yellow mustard. Yeah. Maybe a little more sweet pickle relish. Just a little. Just a little. Alright. Let's toss this some more. I hope y'all can tell it's some chunkiness and some creaminess. So, I hope that makes some people happy. I love it both ways, and so I really like it when it's all mixed up, some creamy and some chunky. Okay, y'all. That is looking good. Let's fill this second shaking dish up. And we will be done. I'm going to go make some cornbread to go with our red beans and rice tonight. And we will be through cooking today. I'm going to sit down and visit with my husband. And... We're going to hunker down and get ready for Delta. Hurricane Delta. We've never had any since I've been born. Are you, huh, baby, nope. that's come through this late in the year, in the season? I know season lasts to, what, November, but we've never had that to happen to us. So this is kind of unusual for us, too. Yes, it is. Um, we all just got our yards cleaned back up from Hurricane Laura. And our deer lanes, John cleaned his deer lanes back up, and then y'all even started messaging me, oh no, now Delta's coming, and y'all are so sweet to be concerned, but I guess that's just part of it, huh? part of living in Louisiana or anywhere on the southern coast, really. Okay, y'all. And I want to decorate the top with those eggs. I'm wondering if I can need this to be a little bit smoother. What you think, baby? Does it need to be a little smoother for just those a, eggs? Just a little smoother. Just a little smoother? <laughs> okay, guys. Scoot that here. And let's put these eggs. I'm not sure what kind of little design to do on them. I was going to sprinkle some smoked paprika. Should I do that on top of the eggs or just on top of the potato salad? Let's just do it on top of everything. Everybody let me know if they like that idea or not, what they would have done. Which I like that. I like y'all 
talking to me, telling me what y'all would have done or what you have done. Okay, y'all. I'm not sure about this little design. <laughs> what you think about it, baby? John says, I don't know. What you think about it, darling? It's looking pretty good. You think it's, it's looking, looking pretty, pretty good? good? Sort of just doing some... Yeah. Some... A star shape, maybe? Yeah. Maybe I need to move these up a little bit. Like a big X. Like a big X. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. That's kind of what I was going for. I'm starting to put too much thinking into it, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Okay, y'all. My gloves have gotten really messy with those eggs. I'm just going to sprinkle a little paprika all over the top of it. That, that's prettier on top of the eggs, mm -hmm. I think. I think it is. Okay, y'all, and this one will be for the one. The reason why I put sliced eggs on top is some people are allergic to those or don't like those, so that way they'll know eggs are in this one. I'll bring it over here for y'all to see it. It's pretty, huh? <laughs> okay, now I got a big mess to clean. I won't make y'all get on here with me doing all that, so I will see y'all later. Bye-bye.